and my car won't start. So we're stranded here. How's the new ride, Hallie? This is so cool. <laughs> Della, you wanna try on some PJs? Yay! Cause we got all the time in the world For better or worse, we should stay together So let's stay young and in love We should focus on us forever Yeah, baby, if you Sunday guys we are just getting back from church we get to go back to church now and I saw a special package on our porch do you see something on the porch yeah, porch. <laughs> right, here. right here Stella oh, right here. the girls are all wearing their cute matching Sunday outfits with their cute boots huh guys all right let's take that inside let's see what's inside come on Stella, come on, Stella. oh she's just swinging we do want to give a special thanks to Ife for sponsoring this video. They sell exclusively on Amazon and they sell matching clothing such as matching PJs, Christmas PJs, matching swimsuits and dresses. Go check them out. We'll put all the information down there for you guys to go and, and check what they sell. But again, we want to thank them for sending us these clothes. We don't know exactly what they sent us, so let's go check them out right now. All right, you guys, so Christmas is right around the corner. They have sent us some awesome Christmas family PJs that the kids are fighting over right now. They're just so excited. They can't wait to open the package. So I actually haven't seen which ones they sent us, but we're gonna try them on for you right now. Show you guys our honest opinion and review of this awesome company. And we'd like to thank them for sending us these PJs. This way we're gonna have our PJs all ready for December 1st to start watching movies, having hot chocolate. Right guys? Yeah! Okay, so let's open them up and see what kind they sent us. Ooh, cute! Is it for all of us, even for dad? all of us, even mom and dad, so we can all match. All right, guys. So, like I said, they have sizes from Stella all the way up to Marco. So we all got one. We're all gonna model them for you right now, so you can see what PJs we picked out. But they have several different prints. We are gonna put the description in the link below so that you can go check out the different prints they have and Christmas PJs. They also have other PJs that are not necessarily Christmas, but we know that time of year's coming and we love it. So let's get our PJs on and we'll show you guys. Stella, you wanna try on some PJs? Yay! Okay. All right, you guys, so here are different selections that they have. Like I said, a lot of them are Christmas, which is perfect time of year. You can actually just order these right off of Amazon and we're gonna include the link in the description box below. <gasps> Stella, you look so cute! Do you like it? These fit perfect. So this is the two year old size and Stella is two and a half so they fit perfect with a little bit of room to grow. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. All right, here comes Livy, another baby bear. What do you think? Good. Those are cute on you too. They fit good. So we got Livy a size three, four in the kids, and she is four years old, and she still fits in four T. Oh, well, looks cute, Liv. Are they comfy? Yeah, but I'm actually five. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you are five. What was I thinking? <laughs> you just turned five in August, so she's five, and I got her size three, four because she's a little bit on the small side too. She still fits <laughs> in. 4T stuff. So I got her the kids 3-4. So it fits perfect. So I would say go go true to size when you guys order. All right, next up is Hallie. So cute. Out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas. 
Christmas times. All right, so Hallie is eight years old, but she is on the smaller side. So I got her a six seven, and it fits her perfect. How they feel, Hallie? Good. Super cute. So you can wear these all year. They're Christmassy with the red, but you can wear them after Christmas too, huh? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. We got big Ty. How does it fit, Ty? It fits really good and they're really comfy. Yes, good length on our skinny, tall boy growing like a weed. Good length on the arms. How does it feel? Comfy. Super comfy? Like, I like the material. It's like thin. You're not a baby boy, but... Oh well. Let me see what size I got you. We got, yep, 10, 11, and Ty is 10 years old. He'll be 11 in March. So I would definitely say do true to size. Get yourself some Christmas PJs because they are awesome. Thank you, Ife, for sending us these amazing PJs. All right, you guys, I have mine on. Mine says Mama Bear. Super cute, and I'm loving the pants. They're long enough. So I'm kind of in between sizes and I like to go up a size so that in case it shrinks or you know no one likes to sleep in like super tight pajamas but this fits good. This is a size large and I still have plenty of room. I am super tall so I also went bigger for that reason and I've got plenty of room. All right so here's the full shot so I've got plenty of length. Overall looks good. We're happy with it. I'll definitely be wearing this for Christmas but also just all throughout the year. All right, and Papa Bear, looking right. good. These what do you super think? super comfortable. They are really comfy. Nice and soft. Got Marcos the large, which is what he would normally get at the store, and it looks good. I am glad we didn't do medium for you, because he can sometimes do medium, sometimes large, but I would say true to size, yeah. depending on how you like the fit. Plenty of length as well. I like it, it's not gonna be floods in a month. Yes. Two. All right guys, so we are set for Christmas. We've got our Christmas PJs, plaid pants going on, all the things. So if you wanna get some Christmas PJs or just some winter soft PJs, we're gonna put everything in the description below. You can order them right from Amazon. Click on the link. You guys won't regret it. These are super soft. My kids are gonna love it. Thanks again. We love them and we can't wait to wear them because it's starting to get cold. Getting all cozy comfy in the bed. Yeah. yeah, with our cozy, cozy PJs. Get some hot chocolate. Get ready for Christmas and watch a Christmas movie. Yeah. Yeah, All right, you guys, it is the next week. And I just wanted to let you know that after I washed all the PJs, they still fit great. Huh, Stella? They fit great and even washed. Yeah. These are Hallie's PJs after we washed them. Pretty much fit the exact same. Do you feel like they shrunk at all, Hallie? Uh -oh. Still fit good in the arms and the legs. Now we just went through all of Hallie's clothes and she has no winter clothes. So I think Hallie and I are gonna head to do some shopping when dad gets home, huh? Mm -hmm. Where do you wanna go shopping? Target. Anywhere else? Old Navy. Old Navy, okay. Sounds good. Hallie and I are gonna go do some shopping. She has no clothes that fit her. She's had a huge growth spurt. It's been cold here, so we're gonna go for a little bit. Ty's trying to earn some extra money. He's gonna babysit the girls. Marcus will come home, and we're just gonna take you along with us every step of the way. Well, guys, I'm here with Hallie. We're right in front of Passport Wholesale Furnishings. We have decided on our couch, and we're finalizing our carpet. And I had two swatches and I want to go put it next to the couch just to finalize because Marcus and I are doing that this afternoon. And my car won't start. So we're stranded here. Marcus is not quite off work. And now I have to get a tow and all the things. I'm so sick of this van having problems. This is probably like the fifth time in six months that we've had to take it in. So hopefully we can get a tow over here quick and get to the dealership and I guess go for plan B. What's plan B? Plan B is just to go take the car in and then wait for dad to come pick us up, I guess. We're sitting here stranded, starving, huh? Mm -hmm. Says the tow won't be here for another hour, about. This vlog should be called Stranded in the Car Trying to Do Something Fun. Seriously. Guess we're just chilling, chatting. Definitely gonna need a drink after this, huh? <laughs> Anyway, we'll keep you guys posted, see what happens, but I've got a tow truck coming. 
and to tow us to the dealership, I guess. How he's decided to pick up trash on the ground and go and throw it in the dumpster over there. She wanted to get some her exercise and help the planet. So go Hallie. How much trash did you find? One, but I saw two other ones that I'm not gonna do. That was one nice. of them was gum Ugh. and the other one was a smoke. Oh yeah, smoke. Don't be touching those, huh? Mm -hmm. Do you mean cigarettes, not smokers? Yeah. Don't touch those, huh? Yeah. Get some sanitizer. It's getting hot, so we came into the furniture store. Just sitting on our hopefully new couch and just waiting. So we're just gonna look around. Anyway, the guys here are trying to jump it. All right, he's gonna move the truck a little bit closer. It clicked the first time, but now, like, it won't even click over, guys. So, hopefully, we can figure it out, huh, Howie? Mm -hmm. So, I'm just sitting on this bench because I didn't want to go in the car. It was really hot, and the car is kind of, kind of working. Not really, so I'm just sitting here, and the worker is over there doing stuff. There's, like, no one here, even, so. Just in here. And we're gonna head to the dealership, so let's just look. All right, we made it to the dealership, barely, I feel like. Marcos is on his way here, and we're just waiting for one of the servicemen to come up and help us out. I was just thinking about it, you guys. Super frustrating because all the car problems started in May. Check out that vlog if you haven't, where the doors went shut, the sliding doors, and we were stuck in Utah. Our battery died one day in like June. Had to go fix that. We were literally here like a month ago with another battery issue and all these recalls and alerts going off like in the dashboard. And then this is the fourth time in like literally six months that things have happened. So thankfully this car, we leased it, we didn't buy it. We can trade it in for a new one in April and I, I can't wait, like I literally can't wait. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> but I still want a Honda. Yeah, we'll probably still get another van. It's just we get to get a new one. This is why I like to lease because all these problems have been going on the last year. It's all under warranty, so thank goodness for that. But I just, I don't have time to bring it in all the time and leave it here for a couple days. Like, we've got stuff to do, huh? Uh-huh. Plus we're moving we... and all the things. Dad! Oh, well, look, there he is to save the day. Um, try to see if you can open this sliding door because it won't open. That Why not? Will. This one will. Ever since he jumped it, it's like everything keeps falling apart. Okay, so that one's working manually now. It's another Ugh. thing that's not working all of a sudden. What is wrong with this van? No, I'm ready to turn it in early if they would let us, seriously. They have no idea what's going on with it. They don't know how long it will take, but Honda's really awesome and they're gonna give us a free rental car. We just have to go get hooked up with Enterprise. So he's printing out a bunch of paperwork right now. Then we're gonna go to Enterprise, hopefully get a car that the six of us can all fit in. So we can have it for the weekend, still hopefully do the pumpkin patch. We've got soccer games tomorrow, tomorrow's Halloween. We've got some fun things that we want to do. Plus, Marcus and I have to finalize some stuff on the house, so we just need to have another car. Oh, hey, Tay. <laughs> what is that? Oh, a filter? Okay, how's it going? It's going good. Are you holding down the fort? Yeah. All right, guys, so we're just leaving Honda. They hooked us up. I just got to take this paper to Enterprise and get a car that we can hopefully use for the next few days. They just have no idea how long they would have it. So I'm grateful they're giving us a car for it, for the weekend, all the things. Got Marcos here, got Hallie here. We need to get some lunch. We do need to get some lunch. It's 1.30 and we're all starving. So I think we'll grab something and then head to Enterprise. All right guys, which car are they gonna give us? She tried to put me in this one, but I'm like, nope, we need a six-seater, so probably the minivan over there. We're used to the minivan, just something we can all be in and all fit in. All right, guys, we're in a minivan. Brand new car. What did we get? I think it's a Chrysler. It's definitely a lot smaller than the Honda, but it's kind of fun to just drive something new. It's always fun to test drive something. You never know if you're gonna love the car. Anyway, Marcos and Hallie went to go get some lunch, so I'm gonna go meet them right now. I guess Marcos and Hallie chose Freddy's. All 
All right, there's Marcos, he's just parking. So there are no dining options indoor for fast food, I guess. They chose Freddy's, which I think I've eaten there once. At this point, it's two o'clock, I'm just starving. So they're gonna come in here, we're gonna eat our food in the car, in the rental car, and then we are gonna head to RC Willie actually and finally finalize our carpet. We know what we're gonna do, we're just ordering it. How's the new ride, Hallie? This is so cool. <laughs> Kind of fun to ride in a different car, huh? Yeah. Take your pick, any seat you want. Wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, I'll sit back here. oh wow. Should I come back there? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Might be easier. Have a party. <laughs> wow, Woo! you really got lots of food, didn't you? I did. You guys hungry? Yeah. All right. Let's eat it. Let's eat. Callie's just living her best life. She was so hungry, huh? Mm -hmm. That whole back seat eating to eating yourself. Something. They are skinny. They're like shoestring fries. You want some? Sure. Who chose Freddy's? Me. You did? All right, guys, we survived eating in the car. Hallie thought it was just so fun. Huh, Hallie? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dad, I guess, got some custard ice cream at Freddy's. It was pretty good. It's okay. We all shared it, but. No, it's nothing like Nielsen's. Yeah. That's the best custard. And the food, town. I can't say I'd recommend. But oh, come on. we were pretty starving. It's 2.30. So Ty is killing it back at home, holding down the fort with all the kiddos. So we are headed to RC Willie. That was the main top priority today to get our carpet ordered. And I just found out that because it's Nevada Day, they're offering an extra 10% off. So we're going to get an even better deal on nice. our carpet. Nice. So it was worth waiting. We've kind of been waiting till the last minute just because we want to just be sure about all of our choices. So we'll take you along with us. All right, so this is the family room carpet. This is the flooring. And this is for the upstairs, which you can't really tell the coloring super well in here, but we've shown you guys enough. So this is just a little bit darker, got darker speckles. And this is a little bit more beigey to be right next to the flooring and then the white kitchen. It's gonna look good. All right, you guys, it's been a day, but we finalized our carpet and flooring, so now it's feeling official. It's all done and paid for. And I got Hallie back here, and we're back at Enterprise because my van is apparently done at Honda. So I didn't need to get a rental car at all. Last time I was in the shop for three days and it was just really hard to not have a car for three days with kids. And anyway, like I said, we're trying to hit the pumpkin patch and stuff. So I'm returning the rental car, heading back to Honda to pick up the van. Then we're gonna grab the kids and go to the pumpkin patch. We're gonna separate that into a separate vlog because it's been a long day. So catch that vlog if you haven't and we'll link it right here at the top. Oh, 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 oh,